This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision in technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. Let's make a Hale Kulani cocktail. This is a cocktail that was invented in the 20s at the Hale Kulani Hotel in Waikiki. Served and invented at a bar on hotel property called the House Without a Key, which is a really cool name for anything. The House Without a Key is also the name of Earl Derbigger's first Charlie Chan novel. For a little trivia for you, also in that novel, Charlie Chan does not speak his first word until page 89. That's pretty wild. A weird book. 89 pages of silence. This is the Hale Kalani cocktail, a cocktail that sort of predates what we typically think of as the core tiki time in America, you know, the 40s up through the 60s or early 70s. All the same, we should lump it in and include it with our delicious uh, tiki treats, and that's why we're gonna make it right now. One Hale Kalani cocktail. We're gonna need a half an ounce of fresh lime juice to start it up. That's a half an ounce. Need a half an ounce of fresh orange juice. Half an ounce of fresh orange juice. Half an ounce of fresh pineapple juice. We need a quarter ounce of Demerara syrup. We need a half a teaspoon of grenadine. I know that my bar spoon is a quarter teaspoon. That means two bar spoons. Uh, this drink calls for some bourbon. Uh, I'm gonna use Booker's Bourbon because in the spirit of all things tiki, I believe that our proof should be uh, stratospherically high. Uh, so an ounce and a half of Booker's Bourbon. Oh yeah, it's, o it's only 128 proof. Um, and so this drink calls for some Angostura bitters. Uh, we're gonna hold off on that because I'm doing something a little bit different with it. And so now we're gonna shake this drink over cracked ice. So we're gonna serve this drink in a chilled coupe. Let's just pour it in. We're gonna use an atomizer and um, a match and just flame it with a spritz of Ango. And uh, let's garnish this drink with an edible orchid. Well, none of my orchids are actually edible, but the ones that you would use should be edible. I'm gonna call that an edible orchid, even though it's a very toxic orchid. Um, but let's garnish this drink with an orchid all the same. Uh, and let's see how we did here with this. Oh my God, I love that drink. That is a cool drink. Ooh, and it keeps evolving. Mmm. Oh man, that, oh. Yeah. That's awesome. What does that taste like? That is uh, tart and citrus and, uh, but not overpowering and kind of sweet and very, um, very tropical, very floral, but like, like a tropical evening, like a walk on the beach. Mm. You know, you get like a certain amount of banana notes in there, which are weird, because where are they coming from? We didn't add any bananas to this, but it's very sophisticated too. It's not like just a, a sweet, I mean, it's not sweet. This is it's a good drink. Okay, so this is a fucking fantastic drink. You should be making this drink at uh, your home for your friends. I think that the spritz with bitters definitely adds something to the drink. The orchid looks lovely and it does have an odor, so that's actually really kind of providing something for the drink here. Oh man, that is so good. Uh, this is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. Thanks for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you're gonna subscribe. I hope that you like the Hale Kalani cocktail. Um, from Waikiki Beach as made at the House Without a Key in the early 20s. It's so good, oh my God. This is a very, this is like a perfect cocktail. This is really phenomenal. Leave me a comment. I try to get back to all of them if, you, uh, if I can uh, on either YouTube or Reddit. I like making drinks for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching the show and I'll see you guys next week with another cocktail on how to drink. If you're a person who likes drinks, this is a drink you might like and I assume you are because you're watching my show.